pastor of one of the largest churches in the Dallas area is responding to allegations that he molested a child in the 1980s. The idea of influential mega pastors like Tony Evans, Robert Morris, and T.D. Jake stepping down would indeed have significant ramifications for their respective congregations and the wider Christian community. Each of these leaders has built substantial followings and their ministries have a profound impact on their members' spiritual lives. Tony Evans, founder and senior pastor of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship in Dallas, Texas, has been a pillar of his community for decades. His teachings, books, and radio broadcasts have reached millions, offering practical biblical insights and strong theological foundation. Should Tony Evans step down, his congregation might experience a period of uncertainty and adjustment. The transition of leadership would need to be handled with great care to ensure that the church's many ministries and programs continue smoothly. Given Evan's stature, it's likely that succession planning has been considered. His children, including Jonathan Evans and Priscilla Scherer, are already prominent figures in Christian ministry and could play significant roles in ensuring continuity. However, the emotional and spiritual impact on the congregation would still be substantial as members who have looked to Evans for guidance and wisdom might find it challenging to adapt to new leadership. In the event of his stepping down, transparency regarding the reasons would be crucial. Whether due to health reasons, a desire to focus on other ministry aspects, or personal reasons, open communication would help mitigate rumors and foster trust within the congregation. This transparency would be essential in maintaining the unity and morale of the church community. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. The story is gut-wrenching when I read it on paper, and I've been sharing for years. So it just happens to be God's time, I think, for it to come to light. I think that leaders can get caught up in feeling like it's our responsibility to protect God, and it's not. Their responsibility is to protect the people. Robert Morris, senior pastor of Gateway Church, a multi-campus megachurch based in South Lake, Texas, has built a substantial following through his teachings and the church's extensive programs. If Morris were to step down, especially amid a scandal, the effects on his congregation could be profound. Scandals involving church leaders often lead to crises of faith among members who may feel betrayed or disillusioned. If Morris were to step down due to serious moral failings, it would be imperative for the church leadership to address the situation with honesty and integrity. Covering up or downplaying the issues would only exacerbate the problem. By openly acknowledging the failings and taking steps to rectify them, the church can begin the process of healing. This might involve bringing in outside experts for an independent review, offering counseling services to affected members, and ensuring that new leadership adheres to high ethical standards. Two megachurch pastors have just stepped down from ministry after admitting to moral failures, one of which is being accused of pedophilia. I was not a young lady. I was a little girl. I was 12. Now we know that God is patient. God is merciful. He's forgiving and kind, but don't get it twisted. God will not be mocked. This is why the Bible says that judgment will begin in the house of God because we are the most privileged. We have the most understanding. We have the most authority, all while knowing Jesus, God's goodness, his word and his heart, and to use all of God's giftings, blessings for evil, selfish gain. Where is the fear of the Lord? Pray for your leaders. Pray for the body of Christ and bring back the fear of the Lord. God's representatives lead the way. Let's do it well. The emotional toll on the congregation would be significant. Providing professional counseling and support groups would be essential in helping members process their feelings and begin the journey toward healing. This support would also signal that the church cares about the well-being of its members and is committed to restoring trust and integrity. We will call it Tier 1, Charges and Indictment Against T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes will not enter my presence. He can go and enter the presence of the ones he is currently serving. That is all the Lord said back then in 2014. And you asked me if I had a clue who he was currently serving since the man is on every international TV station serving God. In 2014, 
I had no clue of what the Lord meant when he said the ones he is currently serving. So this is tier one. In January 17, 2014, God said that this man will never enter his presence. He said that this man will never see his face. T.D. Jakes, founder and bishop of the Potter's House in Dallas, Texas, is one of the most influential pastors in the world. His sermons, books, and media productions have a global reach, making any decision to step down impactful on a grand scale. The Potter's House, known for its dynamic worship services and extensive outreach programs, would face a significant transition period. Given Jake's influence, ensuring a smooth transition would be crucial. This would involve clear communication about the reasons for his departure and a well-thought-out plan for succession. Whether the new leader comes from within the existing pastoral team or is brought in from outside, the choice must be made with careful consideration of the church's vision and values. T.D. Jakes has often spoken about the importance of legacy and succession. If he were to step down, maintaining the vision and momentum of the potter's house would be essential. This could involve appointing leaders who share his passion and commitment to the church's mission, as well as continuing the programs and initiatives that have made the Potter's House a beacon of hope for many. Across all these scenarios, the common theme of communication and transparency stands out. When influential leaders step down, it is crucial for the reasons to be communicated clearly to avoid speculation and mistrust. Transparency helps to foster a sense of honesty and respect which is essential for maintaining the congregation's trust and unity. Providing emotional and spiritual support to the congregation is another critical aspect. Whether through counseling services, support groups, or additional pastoral care, ensuring that members have the resources they need to process their emotions and continue their spiritual journeys is vital. Effective succession planning cannot be overstated. Identifying and mentoring future leaders well in advance can ensure a smoother transition and help maintain the, con maintain the continuity of the church's mission and programs. This planning should involve not only identifying potential leaders, but also preparing the congregation for the eventual transition. Finally, ethical leadership is paramount. Leaders must be held to high standards, and any moral failings must be addressed openly and honestly. This helps to rebuild trust and ensure that the church remains a place of integrity and moral guidance. The potential stepping down of mega-pastors like Tony Evans, Robert Morris, and T.D. Jakes would undoubtedly have significant impacts on their respective congregations. These transitions would need to be managed with great care, emphasizing transparency, support, and ethical leadership. By addressing these issues thoughtfully and proactively, churches can navigate these challenging times and emerge stronger with a renewed commitment to their mission and values. The legacy of these leaders can continue through well-planned succession and the unwavering faith of their congregations.